Okay, here we have our second of the two types of acid-base neutralization problems or titration problems. And this one, uh, we are given uh, the concentrations of both of our acid and our base, and we're trying to find the volume of one of the two. And again, with the acid-base neutralization, those titration problems are stoichiometry problems. So we need a balanced equation. So we look at this. And we say we've got hydrochloric acid to start with, and we're neutralizing it this time with potassium hydroxide. And again, we have a hydroxide as one of our reactants here. We know with an acid-base neutralization involving a hydroxide, we're going to get water as one of our products, and we're going to get a salt. In this case, our salt is going to be potassium chloride, potassium single plus, chloride is single minus, uh, just KCl. And as we look at it, we say, you oh, know, this is pretty easy to balance. It's already balanced. The skeleton equation is a balanced equation. Now, bear in mind, the question is asking us to find the volume of the hydrochloric acid. A um, good principle when we're doing our dimensional analysis is to begin with the end in mind. And we look and say, well, the end in mind here is a volume of the acid, and so we look in, in our, the information that's given to us, and we try to find something that has something to do with uh, the volume of the acid. And what we have is the concentration, we have the molarity. And again, remember that the molarity is the moles of the hydrochloric per liter of the hydrochloric acid. Well, right there is our, is our volume. So there's some volume information, but right now it's in the denominator. We want that, really, we want that on top. So all we're going to do is flip this upside down and say, okay, well, for every one liter of our hydrochloric acid solution, we have 0 0.931 moles of our hydrochloric acid solution. Now, we'll get this out of the way here. I guess we don't need that. Now, we take a look and say, okay, we want to leave this unit of liters of hydrochloric so we, can, so we can convert that to milliliters at the end, and we've got to find some way to cancel out these moles of HCl. And really the only inf information that we have about the HCl is the, the mole ratio with the potassium hydroxide. So we will put that in so we can go ahead and cancel out our moles of the hydrochloric acid. And how that's going to help is now that we have the moles of the potassium hydroxide, we know something about the volume of the potassium hydroxide and, and we know its molarity and we're going to be able to use that information to cancel out this remaining term. So we say, well, we got the moles. Uh, we know how many liters of the hydrochloric per mole of potassium hydroxide now. We'll end up multiplying that by the molarity of the potassium hydroxide. And that clears out the moles of KOH term. And now if we stopped and calculated, we have the liters, we'd have the ratio of the liters of the hydrochloric acid to the liters of the potassium hydroxide. And we have some more information up here. We have the volume of the potassium hydroxide that's 55.7 milliliters. If we convert that over to liters, that's 0 0.0557 liters of KOH. And now that term cancels out. And now all our units are canceled out, except for the one that we're looking for back here is the volume. And so when we calculate that out, we find that the volume of the hydrochloric that's required is 0 0.0255 liters of HCl. And converting that over, that's equal to 25 0.5 milliliters of hydrochloric acid. It's always a good idea to, to check 
at the end to see if your answer makes sense. And since this, this reaction is a one-to-one -one reaction on a mole basis, one mole of hydrochloric acid for one mole of potassium hydroxide, um, you would expect that if the two solutions were of equal concentration, you would need equal volumes. And since in this case, the concentration of the hydrochloric acid is a little more than double that of the potassium hydroxide, you would think you'd need probably double the amount of the potassium hydroxide to, to, to neutralize the acid. And sure enough, the, that's what we've got here for our answer. And our answer does make sense. It requires less of the hydrochloric acid because it's more concentrated.